And this recipe isn't, in fact, a million miles away from the original Tudor recipe. At its heart, it's got a frog stock. It's got the almonds in there as well. But there's a few extra ingredients I want to add to enrich the dish. This is mushroom ketchup. The first ketchup was brought back to England by seafarers exploring the Far East in the 1600s. We think of ketchup as being tomatoes. The oldest British ketchup recipe was actually made with mushrooms. And it was a kind of condiment. This is a once in a lifetime Tudor feast. So, you know, serving the my blancmange in a little martini glass just ain't gonna do the job. To create a froggy habitat, I'm using a hollowed out log filled with inedible green gel. On top of the jellied pond, we've got the water lilies. And one of the lilies has been molded it around a bowl. And that bowl is for the blancmange. I'm completing the blancmange with some exotic luxuries of the Tudor age. Violet flowers, rose water, and pomegranate. And for the final touch, my crispy fried frog leg dippers. And there you have it. My frog blancmange in true, over-the-top Tudor style.